the document recognising King Henry VIII as head of the newly formed Church in England. At the same time, and for exactly the same reason, his good friend John Fisher, Bishop of Rochester, was housed in the upper chamber. <laughs> now, although both these men suffered terribly, they refused to abandon their religious beliefs. They were eventually taken out there onto Tower Hill in 1535 and publicly beheaded. 400 <coughs> years later, in 1935, both of those men were canonised as saints of the Roman Catholic faith for dying for their beliefs. Hence today, St Thomas More and St John Fisher. Now another prisoner held in here, you may never have heard of, but I can almost guarantee you this. By the end of my tour today, you may never forget this man's story. And children, you're going to have nightmares for weeks to come. <laughs> I have a rainbow for babysitting. <laughs> okay, hands up, who's heard of James?